hi everyone in today's video i'm going to teach you guys exactly how to wire two flow switch together to control your water level in both ground tank and overhead tank automatically so guys i'm going to use this diagram here to explain to you guys exactly how two flow switch work in automatic water level control system but please guys if you never subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video please guys so let's begin so when you look here you can see that here is our ground tank and here is is our overhead tank if you look here you can see that here is our motor pump here this is our, our water pump here so now if you can see that this is the pipe that connects the two tanks together so now this water pump will take water from this ground tank and pump it over to this overhead tank here so now if you look here you can see that this is our first flow switch in our ground tank and this is our second flow switch in our overhead tank here and if you look here also you can see that this is our life wire this is our life wire and this is our natural wire so when you look here you can see that this is our three wire of our flow switch remember every flow switch has a three wire if you look here, you can see that the black wire is the life wire of the flow switch and the red wire is the normally closed wire and the blue wire is the normally open wire if you look at this our second flow switch we see also that the black wire is the life wire the red wire is the normally closed wire and the blue wire is the normally open wire every flow switch has the same configuration so if you look here you can see that from this my input here i connect my positive wire from here to life wire of our first switch our grand flow switch you can see i connect it to this black wire here then from this red wire the normally closed wire i connect it from here to life wire of our overhead flow switch then from normally open here, from this blue wire, the normally open wire, from our overhead flow switch, I connect it directly to our motor pump here, to our positive terminal of our water pump. Then my neutral wire, I connect my neutral wire from here directly to my neutral terminal here. But remember, when you are wiring this thing, you are not going to connect this flow switch directly to your motor pump. We are going to use a contactor i'm also going to show you how to wire a contactor so how this thing work let's understand so when there is water in this grand tank and there is no water in this overhead tank what will happen is that these two flows which is going to operate together to turn and turn on this water pump automatically and water will start pumping from this grand tank to this overhead tank here so as water is pumping when water full in this tank when this tank filled up with water then this two flow switch here is going to switch off this water pump automatically so that's how the two flow switch work two of them work together so this is how two flow switch work in automatic water control system so i'm going to teach you how to do the conversion so let's go ahead and do it so guys this is the two flow switch here we are going to do the connection now so if you look here you will see that this is the three wire from our ground flow switch and this is the three wire from our overhead flow switch and these two breaker here is our life and neutral supply here so now what we are going to do remember what i told you earlier that this black wire is the life wire of this flow switch and this red wire or brown wire here is normally closed wire and this blue wire is normally open wire the same thing to this one also so what we are going to do is that we are going to connect this black wire to to positive terminal of our breaker so let's go ahead and do that put this wire so now this normally closed wire you can see this brown wire is the normally closed wire of our ground flow switch we are going to connect this normally closed wire to our life wire of our overhead flow switch so this is the black wire here we are going to join the two wire this way so after the joining you use insulation tape to So 
So now, this here, remember here, this is our ground clothes which we use black wire and we use the live wire and the normally closed wire. So here, we are going to use the live wire and the normally open wire. So this blue wire is normally open wire. So I don't have a water pump here. We are going to use this bulb here to test it. So what we are going to do is that we are going to connect this blue wire to this red wire here of our bulb. So let me go ahead and connect it. So after it, we'll tape it again. So and now this neutral wire from our motor pump will connect it to our breaker also. And now we are done with the connection. So let's go ahead and test. So let me go ahead and switch on my breaker. So now remember that this is our ground tank and this is our head tank. So when there is a water in this our ground tank the flow switch is going to be in this up position here and when there is no water in this one this one will be in this down position and water will start and water will start pumping to our pump our tank our overhead tank and when water speed up in our overhead tank the flow switch will be in up position and our bulb and our water pump is going to turn on automatically you can see it so Thanks so much for watching guys and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you like this video please so thanks